So to start us off, I'm going to be going into the uh, general settings here. You guys can copy whatever it is that you'd like to copy. Not much to see there. I'm going to move on to the HUD settings. Now for the HUD settings, I am running on like points off and like the versus thing off. The reason for this is because like back when I used to play comp, you kind of had to have all of that off for competitive games. So it's just a habit that I've had for the past few years. But I'm going to go ahead and just scroll through all this and you guys can pause whenever you feel is necessary. I don't recommend copying all of these settings one for one as everything is personal preference when it comes to like settings like this and even your peripherals. Um, but if you guys are just wondering kind of what I'm using, this is it. Alrighty. So moving on to audio, I play on 70 in-game volume and I have my Windows volume set to 100. Music off, dialogue, dialogue 70. Dy dynamic range, uh, I tried around with hi-fi and TV recently and I actually did not like them. I prefer night mode. There's no specific reason to why I'm on that. It's just what I prefer. And you guys can pause and copy whatever you'd like to copy there. Moving on to display settings. My main monitor that I play on is a 24 inch, 240 Hertz, 0 0.5 MS, uh, four, or no, sorry, 1080p monitor. And my other two monitors are 27 inch, 1440p, uh, 165 hertz, one MS response time monitors. But this is the one that I play on. I do play on 1920 by 1080, full screen, of course, refresh rate 240. The aspect ratio is 4.3. If you guys ever see me streaming on Twitch and you're asking like, oh, why are you on 16.9? It's just because I'm alt entered. I always play 4.3 and almost never on anything else. V-Sync off, of course, make sure you guys have this off. Personally, I like to have the FPS limit off, the whites and letterbox off. I play on 84 FOV, and for right now, I play on HUD display area on 80, but keep in mind, this is only because right now there's a bug at the start of uh, Demon Vale where you have to play with your HUD area on 80 or else your HUD gets cut off. When this goes back to normal, I'll be bringing this back to 100, so just keep that in mind. For my brightness, I'm on 70, and my monitor settings, my actual monitor settings are default. I do have some NVIDIA control panel settings, but we'll get into those a little bit later. All right. So moving on to graphic settings, I'm running the NVIDIA low latency on on, not on on boost. I have no reason for this. Someone told me, hey, you should put this on on instead of on plus boost. I listened to them. I have no idea if that's the right thing to do. <laughs> Next up, uh, the lat latency flash indicator. Keep this off. Um, I set my texture quality to very high. I just like the look of the game. I feel like it looks a little bit better. And I have a 3090, uh, as you can see down here. So I'm not very concerned with performance. Texture filtering, linear. LED quality on ultra. Shading low. Shadows on medium. Be sure to keep your shadows on medium. It's very important that you do so. If you read kind of what this says, basically what it's talking about is that if you have your shadows on anything less than medium, you're only going to get static shadows. Meaning like, you're not going to get shadows from players. And that's like the most important thing to take away from this. If you have your shadows on medium and you see someone moving, you can oftentimes see their shadow move before you actually see them, which can kind of let you pre-fire. So make sure you have your shadows on medium. That way you have what's called dynamic shadows. Uh, reflection quality on low, VFX low, and then all of this on off. I did used to run TAA on and uh, the sharpness all the way down um, you could do that if you have low fps but now that i have a better pc i do have that off so moving on to controls uh the biggest thing here is like my actual sense and the raw input raw input's very buggy uh for whatever reason ubisoft can like not seem to get it right at the start of every season everyone basically says to turn it off because there's so many bugs with it so i just keep it permanently off uh, mouse look version disabled of course my sense, I do change this here and there. Uh, I was on 400 DPI and then like 1414 14 for a little bit and then like 1212. Right now I'm trying out 800 DPI on a G Pro Superlight with Tiger Ice Skates um, on 5.5. So that would be 400 DPI 1010 if you don't want to change DPIs. Uh, I keep in mind, I do change this, but I almost never change my ADS sensitivity. If I change my sense, my ADS sensitivity almost always stays the same. I haven't changed this in like three years. So, yeah. Moving on, mouse scroll disabled, gadget deployment advanced, same with drone deployment. My aim is on toggle. Uh, so a lot of people get this confused. 
basically what that means is I right click my aim key and I can only click it once and I stay ADS and to un ADS I click it again it's a little bit weird not everyone likes it try it out if you like personally I prefer it I don't think one is better than the other it's just personal preference kind of the same with all of these leans on toggle front on hold crouch toggle prone toggle same with walk uh, controller settings I don't use a controller uh, although I did make a few videos on controller, so make sure you guys check those out. Uh, actual settings or actual controls now. I'm kind of just going to scroll through and you guys can go ahead and pause on whatever you'd like to see here. Pretty much everything's default except for like my crouch is a little bit different. Um, and my gadget deployment is a little bit different than default. But for the most part, this is all just default. Keep in mind that... All of these settings are personal preference. So if you don't like one of the controls, just go to what feels comfortable for you. Don't feel obligated to play on something, you know, just cause I do. But these are just like spectator things now for custom games. All right. So privacy, don't gotta worry about this. That's your streamer mode. Accessibility, I run the purple or pink. I, I think it looks pink, but they call it purple. The uh, optic color is purple. And then optic opacity is 100. A lot of people ask me like what's the best color what's the best settings for this honestly i don't think there is one i just like the color pink so that's why mine is pink <laughs> so like it literally matters that little i would say the ones to avoid is probably white and black just because they're going to blend in with too much even pink is a little bit too light uh at times same with like yellow and the greens here um but i would say like red blue those are pretty good um but at the end of the day it doesn't matter all that much so that is all for my settings for my actual um, peripherals. Like I said earlier, I'm running the 240 Hertz, 1080p, um, 1ms response time monitor. For my mouse, again, I am running the G Pro Superlight with Tiger Ice third party mouse skates. Uh, my keyboard is still the Razer Huntsman Mini Linear. And my mouse pad is actually the Skypad 3.0 that Skypad graciously sent out to me for free. So shout out to them. I do have a discount code with them. So if you guys are interested in checking them out, it is a 100% glass mouse pad. I'll show some pictures of it on screen. It's actually really cool. There's like zero friction on it. The glide is actually insane on this mouse pad. There's, like I said, no friction at all. I do have a discount code with them. It's code shock. I'll have the link listed down below in the pinned comment as well as the description. So feel free to check them out, get 10% off. They are coming out with custom mouse pads soon, so keep an eye out for that. As for my mic, I'm running the Shure SM7B with a blue mic arm into a GoXLR. And that is about it for my peripherals. For my PC, I've got a NZXT Creator PC pre-built, which has 64 gigs of RAM and I want to say i10 or is it an i9 10900K? I forget. I'll have it on screen. As well as a 3090. Um, but that is pretty much it for my settings. So if you guys made it to the end of the video, I appreciate that. Remember to drop a like if you guys found this useful, found it enjoyable. Remember to subscribe if you're new. I do do daily uploads here on YouTube. And thank you so much for watching.